Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a chit chat get ready with me. I have not done one of these videos in a while. I did film one when I was back in Arizona, but I was starting to edit it and I didn't like the way it came out, so I thought I would just refilm it today. And I am currently inside of my new apartment. As many of you know, I did move to LA. I will talk more about that as I get into the video. So basically, if you haven't seen one of my chit chat get ready with me's before, what I'm doing is doing my makeup and telling you guys what's going on in my life, like exciting updates, just different things like that because you guys ask me like, what's going on, what's going on. So that's what I'm doing in this video. And as I do my makeup, I'm going to be doing like a flash thing on the screen that tells you like the product that I'm using because I don't want to like cut away from my story every time I like, you know, change a makeup product so let's get started so as I previously stated yes I am currently in LA um, I know yes I did just move like back in Arizona I moved from my apartment into that house um, but you know I decided I want a new fresh start as many of you know Vanessa Heike has anxiety and all that stuff and I felt like just being in Arizona was making it worse I don't know why but that was just like my mindset so I was like, you know, I'm just gonna pick up and go and I'm gonna just try to like, just see if this will be better. Like even if I like somehow struggle or I don't know, it doesn't matter. Um, I just have to like get out of Arizona and I have to try something new and try a new scenery. And can I just say that ever since I've been here, I have not had a single panic attack. I have not had any like anxiety issues or anything. So I honestly think that like moving out here was like one of the best decisions that I've ever made in my life. And I'm not even exaggerating. Cause some people might be like exaggerating like, oh, all the YouTubers but moved to LA, blah, blah, blah. They make it seem like life is perfect. Like life is not perfect at all. But just pretending that it is for like a little while after like going through like so much it's like, you know, like the light at the end of the tunnel, if you know what I mean. I've made a few like good friends so far since I've been out here, I've been hanging out with, especially Denzel, um, Denzel Dion. He's like a Viner, um, social media person, I guess. Um, but yeah, ever since like I met him, like we've been hanging out like almost every single day. We've been getting along really, really well. He's really cool. He like honestly like makes me like weak. Like I'm dying laughing at everything. Um, we did film a video like we were, cause we went to like a strip club and I know some of you are gonna be like, what, what are you doing in a strip club? But this is also something that I have to address about my age and blah, blah, blah. I'll talk about that in a second. But we went to one and we had a crazy ass experience. Um, Brandon was there too at my friend Alexia, but that's gonna be like a story time because we just had to tell it and it's so funny. And I'm probably gonna end up posting that video like next week or something. So like stay tuned for that. On to the whole like age thingy that I wanted to talk about. There's gonna be some changes on my channel and I just wanna adjust them before anybody like acts like this was like a huge surprise or something. And by changes, I don't mean like I'm changing the way I film, but I'm talking about I'm gonna be myself. Like, it's not that I haven't been myself with you guys because I have, I've been trying to be like 100, but I've been like filtering the freak out of myself, but I feel like I'm almost 20 years old, you guys. Like, I'm gonna be 20 this year. I don't wanna have to act like I'm 13 years old just to cater to other people, you know? Like, I want my channel to be about me. I want it to be like just me, um, like being myself. So if you notice like, oh, like Vanessa's like, you know, doing different things that like, you know, older people do. It's like, because I'm older, um, I'm, please remember like so many people forget or they'll be like, I, why are you changing? It's like, I'm not changing. I'm just trying to show you guys who I really am. I just want to be myself without any filters because I've had to filter myself so much for the sake of other people. And honestly, like that can cause so much fucking anxiety. Cause like you get confused with who really am I? Like, am I really being myself? And then when I post a video, like, that get ready with me that I filmed, I just felt like I was holding back on so much stuff that it made me uncomfortable and I couldn't even post it on my channel. Like that's how bad it was. Like I just wanna like, I want you guys to see the real me. I want you guys to like see how I really am and not like, you know, judge me for it and be like, oh Vanessa's like changing when really it's just, I'm trying to be myself and show you guys the real me. So I just had to get that out there because I already see like the comments coming in like, hey, like Vanessa, you're not the same. But some people have like said like that I've changed over the past few years and that makes me like giggle a little bit just because like I'm almost 20 now and I started my channel when I was 15 years old. Of course, I'm not gonna be the same 15 year old. I have changed my thoughts on life, religion, sex, everything like because I've grown up, I'm an adult now, I'm on my own. So it's just like, don't, don't think too hard about a lot of stuff. 
don't like take everything I say too seriously unless I'm telling you guys like, oh, it's a serious talk, like, blah, blah, blah. Don't take things like too deep. Like it's not that deep. Like half the stuff I say, it's not that deep. But some people want to turn it into just like such a big ass deal. So I guess the next thing that I could talk about that's basically been going on out here. I filmed so far two, three collabs and those videos are going to be like released um, throughout like the next month. Or so just because like yesterday I posted a video like um, like a story time video with my friend in it and like some people are commenting like oh no more collabs like chill with the collabs and really I'm just trying to like I'm just trying to put content out for you like I'm not a really creative person so I don't like really know everything to film for you guys and I don't want you guys to get like bored with my channel so I try to like expand and do things with other people just to make it more entertaining and it's so, like I try to do that and then people like slam me for it so it's like am I ever gonna make any of you happy you know like some people might think like I'm trying to complain or anything because like I'm not complaining about my life I'm very happy you guys are the reason I have the life that I have today I don't take any credit for it which I probably should but I don't really take any credit for anything but um I just like, I don't know, it's, just, it's it's hard to make a lot of people happy all the time. And then when you like try like new things or you try to do this or do this and then people like slam you for it and they're not happy and you're like, fuck, like I tried. I will chill the collabs if that's what you guys really want me to do. I'll start doing more videos of just me and then I'll maybe do like one collab a week or every other week because that's what I'm starting to like see that's what you guys really want apparently. Um, just like let me know in the comments below right now like do you guys want less collabs? Do you guys want more collabs? Like I need to know What you guys really want because this channel is yours like it's not even my channel It's your channel because I'm posting stuff that you guys want to see Like I was like thinking about this last night before I went to bed I was like what if I like changed my channel a little bit and I started doing like these kinds of videos like 10 things to do blah 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 or this or this and I'm like, but that's not me. I'm not a beauty guru I'm not like that type of youtuber and I feel like that would just be so fake of me To even try to do something like that and I know I would not enjoy filming it I would not enjoy like the whole process of all that stuff So I was like, you know, I'm just gonna like stick to what I do and then try to like incorporate like other like crazier things so I don't know that's just my thoughts on that. This is honestly the best eyeliner I've ever used in my life. That's like a pen. This is the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. And I recommend any of you guys and all of you guys to try it out. Just because, like, it gets that straight line. Like, it's, yes, I'm living for it. I hate doing my eyeliner on camera because I feel, like, the pressure. And I'm like, yikes, what if I mess up right now? Everyone's about to see this because I'm not going to want to edit it out. I'm going to be real. But this stuff, like... Takes away some of that fear. You know what I'm craving though? A burger. I don't eat beef anymore, but like I really, really want a burger and I'm gonna get me a burger. The reason I don't eat beef anymore is just because like I wanna be on like a chicken based diet. I'm working out, like my apartment complex has a gym and like me and Alexia are going in there and putting in work and we're starting Insanity on Monday. Uh, it's not that I'm trying to like lose weight, but I want to make my body the most healthy that is like it's possible like that is possible i just want to be like as fit as i can be i want to prolong my life by like eating better and working out just because like there's so many like bad things in this world like so many diseases so many like sicknesses that can be prevented with a good like balanced diet and um and working out so i want to try to put an effort to take care of myself because tbh I don't. <laughs> I usually put my powder on before I do my eyeliner because it gets on my eyeliner. But then what I started noticing is that if I put powder on my eyeliner and then I do my eyeliner again on top of it, it lasts all day. Like, even though it's Kat Von D and it's like amazing quality, that shit's still gonna move if you have a greasy ass face like me. For some reason, someone's always touching my face. Like, I don't, I think that's why I'm like starting to get pimples again. Like, or it could be my period. But I feel like someone's always like somehow like bumping into me or like getting in my face or touching my face. And my eyeliner's somehow shifting and lifting it to another generation. A lot of you are asking like, where's the video with Tana? Where's the video with Tana? 
Uh, me and Tana didn't film a collab. Like we literally just wanted to hang out with each other, like genuinely as friends. We did not film like a special collab video. We did not like, um, yeah, we didn't do anything like that. I mean, like we, we kind of vlogged, but like I checked my vlog out and that's also the reason why I got a new phone. Like I checked my vlog out and like half of it had no audio. But I was thinking of like maybe making it just like a montage with like a song over it. Like I kind of saw that Anthony did that, or aka Lil Anthony. Um, he kind of did that with like one of his videos. Like it had no sound. Um, so I'm thinking like I might do that if you guys really want to see like the video of me and Tana because that's all I have of me and her. This is the highlight that I use. This is the MAC um, Soft and Gentle. So many of you asked me like that highlight though, like what do you use? This is what I use you guys. Like let me like look. Oh, look at that. And I just like put it all with my fingers. Like I used to use a brush but now I'm too ratchet for that. So I just like press it on like just on my cheekbones because when I use a brush I feel like I put it in like the spots that I don't want it in. So I'm gonna just be doing it the wrong way. And I know someone's like judging me right now, like a makeup artist is like, ugh, she's doing it all wrong. So So I went to American Apparel the other day and I got like a few like little pieces and stuff. Like I got like underwear and blah blah blah. But that's not the point of it. Why'd I even say I don't even know why I started talking about underwear. I went to American Apparel the other day because I wanted to get some stuff. And when I went to the like when I walked in, like okay, this is what I was wearing. I was wearing like sneakers, um, jeans, and was I wearing a turtleneck? I think I was wearing a turtleneck. I'm not exactly sure. But I went and I got some stuff and the whole time like people are like kind of like staring at me and I'm like, oh maybe like someone knows who I am, maybe someone recognizes me. And they didn't. End up like going up to the counter and the lady's just staring at me. Okay, but let me let me rewind. So I go to the dressing room and I like ask them like, oh hey, can you start a dressing room for me? I wanna try this stuff on. The girl helps me, she's like, yeah, she's like, oh my gosh, like, you're so pretty. And I'm like, thank you so much, you, you are too. Like, she was so cute. So I'm like, oh, thank you so much, you are too. And then I go up to the counter to pay for the stuff that I do end up getting, and then the girl's just staring at me. She's like, has anyone told you you look like Kylie Jenner? And I was like, yes. You guys, I do not think I look anything like Kylie. Like, I feel like her face is like changing a little bit more now to where like I'm, I don't look like her and she doesn't look like me at all anymore. But it's like damn, like now people in person are saying it to me and I'm in LA so I hope like nobody's like ever like thinking like oh fuck that's Kylie over there when really it's like why would Kylie be going to Target in the middle of you know the day so everyone can see but whatever. I take it as a compliment because I think she's very beautiful but still like I think we look nothing like like all my friends are all like you look nothing like Kylie I don't know what people mean I think it's just the lips but it's like how does just having big lips like automatically make you look like somebody because like there's a lot of people with big lips or big lips in this world so a few of you have already asked me so I thought I would just like address it in one of my videos I am not going to BeautyCon Dallas um, but I will be going to like playlist next month and I will be going to VidCon during the summer so if you do want to meet me or something, I will be at those, but I will not be going to um, BeautyCon this time. I went to BeautyCon in New York, but I will not be attending BeautyCon Dallas, but Tana will be there, so it's gonna be lit. And now for the hardest part of my freaking makeup routine, these damn lashes. Okay, I love fake lashes so much, but it's so difficult. I'm gonna turn my head and attempt to do it in this mirror. I suck at them so bad. Like, I've sucked at them since I, like, first attempted years ago and I have not improved one bit like I'm trying so hard to make it natural so I'm, I'm really I'm really trying so hard right now but I'm still struggling eh. okay I somehow managed to put my lashes on I don't know if you guys can see them there are the glamour lashes I already showed you guys but this is how they look and I'm gonna put a little bit of um mascara on like the end so it could like lift and not touch my bottom lashes because every time I touch my bottom lashes I end up like blinking like a weirdo and then I look like I'm like twitching like crazy. So this is with a little bit of mascara, like see, yes. And now for my lip color, the final step basically because I, I don't think there's anything else that I do. This is basically like my everyday makeup. So I'm gonna be using the Kat Von D Lolita um, lip color. Now I'm using this because Tana was like, hey, uh, I was like, yo, I like your lip color, what are you wearing? She's like, I'm wearing Lolita by Kat Von D. I usually like exfoliate my lips before I use this, um, but I'm too lazy to go and get it from the living room. 
Why do I have a lip exfoliant in the living room? I don't know, but I do. I feel like whenever I put lip color on, it like just completes the whole makeup look. Like it brings everything together somehow. So that is that for that. And now I'm actually gonna take one more thing. I'm gonna go back to my highlighter and I'm gonna put a little bit above my Cupid's bro, my bro, Cupid's bow, cause it like, it lifts your lip a little bit. So I think I'm done with my makeup. Yeah, I don't like wear too much makeup, but I still wear a lot kind of, if that makes any sense. But yeah, this is my hair of the day. I curled it. It is almost time for Vanessa to get herself a new weave. A new weave is due. By the way, I will be at the Justin Bieber concert in Phoenix on March 30th, I think it's on. And I'm gonna be there like two hours early, so if you want to meet me, I will be outside at like, let's see, I'll, I'll be outside at five o'clock. If you wanna meet me and I'll like linger around outside by the doors for like about 15 to 30 minutes. So if you wanna meet me, that'd be dope. Um, I am going to be doing an LA meetup. Yes, I will be having a meetup in LA this Saturday in two days at the Forever 21 on Hollywood Boulevard. I'm going to be there at two o'clock. I'll probably be there for about 30 minutes just to like meet up with you guys. We like take pictures and say hello to each other. So if you're in LA, I will be at the Forever 21 on Hollywood Boulevard this Saturday at two o'clock. Possibly next week or, oh yeah, spring break is coming up like next week, isn't it? Is it April or is it March? I think it's in March. But I'm gonna be doing a meetup um, here in LA, so if you're from LA and you know the school system, please tell me when spring break is so I can try to do a meetup um, during spring break so more people have the chance of coming and saying hello because I love to meet you guys. Um, and I'm, st I'm trying to be less awkward when meeting people in public because like people come up to me like, hey Vanessa, I love you. And I'm just like, eh, like I love you too, but like I don't know what to say. Like I'm an awkward potato. So I'm like slowly trying to get good at it. So I want to meet more of you guys so I could be like less antisocial. <laughs> And yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any comments about anything I've said or if you have any questions that I haven't answered, please leave them in the comments below. I'm not doing a Q&A for a while now because I feel like I've been back at it again with the Q&As for too much. Like I've been doing too many Q&As, so I'm not gonna do this as much now. Probably not gonna do it until like the end of this month or April, so you're welcome. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.